hello everyone welcome to the second video in this series if you have seen my first video where we have already talked about the AZ 3 and that examination and also the syllabus so that we could go ahead and uh, certify ourselves and uh, this is the second video in this series where we are going to talk about the very first topic in the syllabus deploy and configure infrastructure under this topic we are going to talk about the very first topic which is analyze resource utilization consumption this is a huge module under this module the very first thing is configure diagnostic setting on resources if you have seen my previous video you would have the download link and the syllabus link for the ac300 video here it is right here so this is what we are going to talk about under this this is the module and this is the topic for today so uh, before we talk about the diagnostic settings we need to understand a few things about the azure monitor because this service falls under azure monitor and azure monitor is the core monitoring service provided by ms it collects metrics activity logs and diagnostic logs this is very useful for running diagnostics and troubleshooting multiple resources within Azure. We all know we need to have a way of understanding how things are going, how can we figure out uh, the, the running matrices of the resources. So uh, the key capabilities of Azure Monitor is monitor and visualize matrices. Well, metrics are numerical values available from azure resources that help you understand the health and performance of your system the second capability is query and analyze logs activity logs diagnostic logs and telemetry are monitoring solutions which can provide useful information through analytic queries and the third capability is set up alerts and actions Alerts notify you of critical conditions and can take automated corrective actions. Triggers for alerts can be based on metrics or logs. Well, these are the three capabilities of Azure Monitor. So let's go ahead and see what is there in the next slide. Well, Azure monitor diagnostic logs well these logs provide useful data about the operation of azure resources and services these logs are constantly updating on real time to provide an accurate assessment so that we would have an absolute idea what is happening in our environment well these are two types of logs tenant logs and resource logs as name says tenant logs is all about capturing activity at the tenant level and this is outside the azure subscription and resource logs is all about the azure resources and services what is happening there all right so uh this is uh something about uh azure monitor and how it works and it is uh, uh something which is provided by the azure and our first topic configure diagnostic settings fall under the service so now it's time to understand how can we configure diagnostic settings let's go to next slide here it is well microsoft Azure has several different types of logs to generate multiple, uh, uh, you know, multiple various uh, data streams. The activity log is Azure's control plane log, and it tracks all resources operations in your subscriptions. You can look at the activity log as an audit log, where you can determine who shut down a production VM and when they shut it down. Activity log is everywhere. Uh, if you have gone through the portal, you'll figure it out. In every resource, you have the activity log. Well, uh, 
if we talk about uh, guest operating system level logs we need to enable those that means they require an agent and they collect machine specific data from the perspective of the guest operating system well if we talk about this particular az300 it is all about azure resources azure resource diagnostic logs which require no agent and pull the data directly from the azure resources or uh, azure resource manager backplane well, these are the different ways we can export the data. Azure Storage, we can export and put it there. We can use blob and table as per the requirement or as per the data stream that we are trying to store. Second is Event Hub. Event Hub is capable of high velocity data aggregation and you can subscribe to event data funnel into the hub. All right, now let's talk about Custo Query Language. This is the third way you can export diagnostic logs, uh, which is Azure Monitor Logs, which uses KQL to run interactive queries against Azure Diagnostic Log Data and help you out in figuring out what is happening if you want you can put alert on that particular query before we go ahead and see our demo uh, screenshots that I've already performed and we will also upload the demo in uh, uh, while we are doing it but right now I have the snippets with me and I'll show it to you and before I do that I just want to talk about a little bit on the event hub well Azure event hub is a big data streaming platform and event ingestion service it can receive and process millions of events per second data sent to an event hub can be transformed and stored by using any real-time analytic provider or batching storage adapters so that's how we can export and utilize the diagnostic logs all right now let's move to the next this is the snippet of the uh, lab that we performed so we go to the azure monitor right here you can see monitor diagnostic diagnostic settings and you see you have to select your subscription your resource groups here i select the subscription and these are the resources that is there and we are going to talk about uh, let's let's configure the diagnostic log or export diagnostic log for this NSG into a storage account so we need to select this we'll hit here and add the diagnostics all right so uh, once we uh, hit the diagnostics oh, I'm sorry this is the page we need to provide the name for the log analytics we need to provide the storage account and these are the two other ways i told you about event hub and log analytics here we can uh, put the retention like five days all right and we hit the save now i'm in the storage account here you can see storage account the storage account where i have exported the data after a couple of clicks because it goes inside a folder inside a folder as per the name year day and here we have the JSON file and it looks like this so that's how you export your diagnostic logs I hope this would be uh, this is a learning session for you guys please perform this demo and uh, thank you let's meet in another video take care bye bye